Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salam khan here. And today we discuss in detail about the NAND gate. That why is it called a universal gate? All right. NAND as a universal gate. All right, so I told you why is it called a universal gate because we can make any other gate from this NAND gate, which means we can get any required operation from this NAND gate. All right, we've seen the basic gates are the N or a NOT. Today we see how to make the, for example, the AND gate from this NAND gate. All right. So they are called universal because we can make other gates from them. So let's say name gate is used. Number one, we say is the not gate. NAND as not. So how do we use a NAND gate as a not gate? So basically, you know what? The, the, the NAND gate is like this. All right. So it takes inputs A and B and gives you a Y which is equal to A ended with B whole complemented. All right, this is the NAND gate. Now if, if I give it similar inputs, if similar inputs are given. Okay, so what do you do? A is ended with an A and then complemented. So A ended with an A is an A and then we have a complement so which means that this is an A complement which means now this would act as what? It would act as a NOT gate. So I can do it like this. I can remove this part of it. I can remove this part of it. I give the similar inputs to it. I give here an A. I give an A over here and this function would be now an A complement. Or I can do it in one other way. The most precise way is this, that you join these two and you give it a single input that is A. So you give it an input A, it will give you the complement of it. All right, that's how the NAND is used to get a NOT operation. Now you get an AND operation as AND. Now, how is it used? So now we know that this NAND gate basically is an AND plus, an, plus a NOT. All right? This NAND is a what? This NAND is AND plus a NOT. So now what can we do? We can have this AND gate by, uh, by using the NAND gate. How? We put an AND gate and we invert its output. All right, so how is this? We do it like this. We can have a, a, a NAND gate. This is the NAND gate, all right? It has its inputs A and B, let's say. Over here we have the output is what? It's A and it with a B whole complemented. All right, now if we have a NOT gate over here, if I install a NOT gate over here, so over here I will have the output what? A ended with B, whole complement is from here, and then a whole complement for the NOT gate. So which means that here I will have a simple A ended with B. If I install a NOT gate after the NAND gate, and we've seen the NOT gate is what? I can replace it by a single NAND gate, giving both the inputs the same input. So which means I can remove this, or let's say I remove this as well, I'll write it again, and I place another NAND gate over here. And this is what I get as the, as the output. Over here I had what? I had A and it with B whole complement. And now after this NAND gate, I have an A and it with B. 
which means now I have to use this NAND gate as a NAND gate. So for AND gate we require two NAND gates, all right? For NOT gate we require a single NAND gate. All right, now the third we, we see is the OR gate. As OR. Now this NAND is used as an OR. So how is it used? So if again we see from the from the uh, NAND gate, so so its function is what the Y it gives it it ends the inputs and it complements them. Now if I apply the De Morgan's law over here, so I can say we have an A complement plus a B complement, and we said that it's a bubble OR as well. So it means now we have to give complemented forms to an R operator. All right. So how do we complement it? We see now. All right. Let's say I do what? I, I, I take I take the NAND gate. This is the NAND gate. All right. And I give it I give it what? A complement and a B complement. Okay, so if this is A and this is B, so I have an A complement here and a B complement over here. A complement and B complement. So now what would be the function over here? So the function would be what? It would be an A complement and it would be the B complement and then the whole complement for what? For this NAND operation. Now if we apply the De Morgan's law, so, so, so we can say that it would be what? It would be an A complements complement. And this AND operator will change into an OR operator and B complements complement. And we know that A's double complement is back equal to A and B's complement double is also equal to B. So this Y would be A plus B, which means we've got an OR operator from the what? From the NAND. And now we've seen that this NOT operation, NOT operator can be, uh, uh, can be what? Replaced by a NAND. So we can have the same functionality. So I do it over here, uh, or let's say I do it over there. So 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 this is the basic over here. Okay. Now this is the first NAND gate to which I give what I give an A in common. All right, and the second NAND gate to so this I give a B in common. And now the output of these two are given to another NAND gate to get what? To get an OR operator. So here we have A OR with B. All right, so now we see what? For, for, for the OR operator, we need how many number of gates? We need three NAND gates to get the operation of one OR gate. All right? All right, now the next thing we have is the NAND gate used as a NOR gate, let's say. All right, now the NOR operator does what? It, the function, let's say, is represented by Y and it's equal to what? It takes the inputs, it ORs them, and then it takes the whole complement and gives it to you, all right? So now I remove the OR operator from here, but you have it in your notes. So you check out over there. We, 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 draw, we drew three gates. All right, three NAND gates like this. All right, so, so if this was, let's say, the B, and this was the A. So over here now we have what? We have A plus B, which means that this is the OR operation. Okay, so what do you do now if you place a NOT gate? You place a NOT gate over here. So now it could be what? It's an A plus B whole complement. And this is what? This is the function of NOR gate. But we've seen that this NOT operator is what? It could be replaced by an, by an a NAND gate. So we do it like that and we replace it by a NAND. 
We combine the inputs, we give it a NAND and now this is it. Now this NAND gate has the same functions. So, so if you're using the NAND gate as a no operator, you need how many gates? You need four NAND gates. All right. All right. Now the next, the next is the exclusive OR gate. But for that, I will be needing some space, so I remove, or, or, or I don't remove it now. Let's say the exclusive OR. As exclusive OR. All right, so now what is the function of exclusive OR? The function of exclusive OR is like this. Y is equal to A into B complement plus A complement into B. All right? Okay. So here first, what do we do? We find the total number of gates. All right? So, so we see that we need two NOT gates over here. Yes, it's visible that we need two NOT gates two NOT gates and then we need two AND gates as well two AND gates and then we need a single OR gate one OR gate alright to implement this expression and now you do what For, so one NOT needs one AND gate so two NOT gates would, would need what two NAND gates alright now one AND gate requires two NAND gates, so two NAND, AND gates would require a four NAND gates. And then one OR gate would require three NAND gates, so we need a total of four, seven and nine NAND gates, a total. We need a total of nine NAND gates to implement this function, all right? So now let me draw it for you, okay? So we have like this, you draw with me and then we'll explain. All right. Another, and finally, you land them together. So this is what? This is the con no 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 no. This is not wait 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 wait. You're given a over here and you give a b over here. And now you do what? You take this a from here and you give it over here. And you take this B from here and you give it over here, all right? So now this is the complete configuration of what? The exclusive OR gate. Over here we have what? We get Y is equal to A exclusive OR with B. You want to prove it for yourself stepwise? That's your homework problem, all right? A with itself, this basically is a NOT gate now. Over here we have A complement, over here we have B complement. So the two NOT gates are done. Alright, then here we have A with an A complement. Or here we have B with a B complement. Alright, then it's NOT again and then again and then we have what? And finally we have A what, exclusive award with B. But this is not a proper representation, alright? As we have a lot of number of gates so these are difficult to remember and difficult to draw so we make it a little easier for ourselves and how so we check it out all right so now if you check if you check this portion of it let's say over here I have an X an X is from this output all right so if I give it to this NAND gate this is acting as a NOT gate so you give it to this gate this becomes an X complement all right and now you give this x complement to another NOT gate, so the complement of a complement is again equal to x. 
And similarly over here, if you have an X, you give it to a NOT gate, you have an X complement, you give it to another NOT gate, you get an X back, which means we're getting the same thing back. So we can remove, we can remove what? We can remove this portion of it. All right, so we remove this portion of it and we draw another diagram like this. This is the first NAND gate where we have an A. This is the second where we have a B. All right, then it's given to another NAND gate. This is also to another NAND gate. This A is given over here and this B is given over here. Sorry. Sorry. All right, I'm not using the colors because it's like this, all right? And now directly, directly you give it to another NAND gate so you get the same results. A, exclusive or with B. All right, now one, two, three, four, five gates are used, all right? We can, we can do what? We can minimize it to four gates now. How do you do it? So I show you now. I'll remove this. All right, so now you people watch with me, all right? Now let's say this is the first NAND gate. This is the second NAND gate. This is the third NAND gate, and here we have the fourth NAND gate. All right, so you do what? First of all, the, the, the what? The, you give it over here, and you give it over here. All right, now you do what? You take the output of this gate, you give it to this gate, and you give it to, to this gate. Okay, now we have an A and a B. So let's say over here we have the A. So this A is given to this gate and over here as well. This is the A. And the B is also given. So this gate and one to this gate. So this is now B. And the final that we get over here, so this we prove now. For this, I'm proving it to you, all right? This is the most widely used configuration, okay? So now if you see over here, over here we have a what? We have an A nanded with B, which means we have an A and B whole complement, all right? Now at the output of this gate, we have what? We have an A, it's anded with A, anded with B complement, and then a whole complement, all right? And over here we have what? We have a B and it with an A and it with B complement, uh, sorry, whole complement, and then again a whole complement. Now is that clear? Now we solve it, okay? So before feeding it over here, we solve it first. All right, so if you put the De Morgan's law, an A and it with B, it will result in an A complement, plus a B complement, so this would become an A, B. All right, and now we've seen that A complement plus A, B is equal to A complement plus B. All right, this would be equal to A complement plus B. This is from the rules of Boolean algebra we have seen in the previous videos. And similarly over here we have from this B complement, and this will become an OR with an A, B. So here we have again A complement plus AB, so we have an A complement plus B, which means this is B complement plus A, all right? What is the identity used? The identity used is, let's say, X complement plus XY, so this would be equal to an X complement plus Y. This is the identity used over here, and this is the identity used over here, all right? Now, the finally, you NAND these two, all right? So, so over here we have, let's say I use the red color, A complement plus B into, into what? Into an A plus B complement and a whole complement, all right? So now if you use the De Morgan's law over here, so this would be an A complement plus B whole complement 
and or with what a plus b complement whole complement all right now again did the morgan's law so now it will result in what a times b complement plus the same and then a complement times b so this is the exclusive or operation that we've got a into b complement plus a times b complement which means to get an exclusive or from the NAND gate we need how much gate? 1, 2, 3, 4 is the best way. 4 NANDs to get exclusive OR operation, okay? Alright. Okay, now the next one is what? To use this NAND gate as, a, as an exclusive NOR gate, alright? So I remove this, let's say, uh, let's say this also. I will not remove the main implementation. All right. Okay, so we're done. So now the last one is what? Two, 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 I, I forgot the number. I believe this is the sixth. Or yes, this would be the sixth. As an exclusive NOR gate. All right. So now from the truth tables, you know that the exclusive OR gate and the exclusive NOR gates are the complements of each other. Which means now if, uh, you, if you want the exclusive NOR, let's say. So you do what? You give the exclusive OR output to the NOR gate. So which means now over here we have what? We have, we have the exclusive NOR gate. Now to get an exclusive OR out of it, we just do what? No, sorry, we have the exclusive OR over here, and to get an exclusive NOR out of it, we just give it to another NAND gate. Now, this NAND gate acts as a what? It acts as a NOT, not gate, and the, and the output over here would be A exclusive NOR with B. So now, if you want to prove it, so over here we, we got what? We got an A times B complement plus A times A complement times B. Alright, so now this is given to this NOT gate to get a whole complement. Alright, so now you imply the De Morgan's law. You know this now from the rules of Boolean algebra. So you get an A, B complement, whole complement and it with an A complement, B complement. Okay, so now this again the De Morgan's law. So this is A plus A complement plus B and this is or, or, or with no, this is AND with the same AND operation and then we have an A plus a B complement. Alright, now you multiply it inside. So A times A complement plus A complement B complement plus A times B and plus B times B complement. Now we know that A times A complement is a zero and thus B times B complement is also zero. So we have the function over here over here the function remains is what? It's A times B plus A complement times B complement which is the exclusive NOR operation. And now to get an ex exclusive NOR gate we need how many? We need five NAND gates. Alright, so that's about the NAND gate proved as a universal gate. That's all about today's lecture. See you in the next lecture very soon inshallah. Till then take care. Goodbye.